this is Paula from Alanda Craft and in this video I'm going to show you how to create borders for your brother scan and cut. Now your brother scan and cut comes pre-installed with some borders but you can create plenty more just by using the brother scan and cut canvas software here. This is an online tool and it's free to use if you have a brother scan and cut so you just have to register for it it's quite simple and once you log in this is the first screen you'll see. So I'm going to click on new here and you can see here already that borders are already in here. You can see there's quite a few too. Quite nice. But you can create heaps more by coming back here to the basic shapes here and clicking on that one. You see you've got quite a lot of basic shapes. So let's just start with one. I'm going to click on this one here. Okay. And some of you might be thinking, well, you can just quickly create a border by just dragging that out. And yes, you could, but you notice how this distorts the shape. And we don't want that. What I want is to keep this nice little bubbly shape here. So the way to do that is you grab your image, click on it so it's highlighted, and then right click and go duplicate. And then drag it round to wherever you want it to match. It has to overlap the other one. So you could do that over here if you wanted to, but I'm going to overlap it here. Okay. Now what I want to do is select both of them. So one of them's already selected. I want to select the other. So press and hold the shift key and then click the other one so they're both highlighted now and then I come up here to weld this is a little button up here and click on that one and you'll see what happens notice how it's sort of welded the two together which is great but this isn't long enough yet I want it to be a bit longer so I'm going to click on that right click duplicate again and do exactly the same thing bring this up here there and then highlight the other one by holding down the shift key and clicking and then coming up to weld again. Okay, great, that's long enough. So what I want to do is make this smaller so it fits the mat. So I'm going to press and hold the shift key and drag from the corner here. There we go. I actually want this to be a little bit thinner too. So I'm going to click on this one and drag it up a bit, just like that. That's perfect. Okay, so that's my first one done. So you can see how quick and easy that is. We'll just try another one now. Um, something a little bit more complicated, say this one here, maybe. Okay. okay, all right, let's see what we can do with this. We just do exactly the same thing. So make sure it's highlighted, right click, duplicate, and then drag it to where you want to meld it together. So I probably will do that probably about here, I think. I'm just going to make sure it's sort of lined up properly. And then I'm going to hold the shift key to highlight the other one. And then come up and weld. Yep, I'm happy with that. So I'm going to right click again and duplicate. Do the same thing. Come back, shift, hold it, and weld. There we go. And I can keep going like that. So I won't, won't worry too much, but that just shows you what you can do. I'd probably right click again, duplicate, and do the same thing again like that. So that will just keep making it longer and longer depending on the size I want. Okay, let's try another. Um, what about the hearts? Let's try a heart. Okay, so let's right click, duplicate, come across, I might weld it, say, oh, about there. Highlight both and click the weld button. All right, yep, duplicate. Probably about there, I think it was. And again, duplicate. All right, so I'm going to shift key and make it smaller. The beauty of this too is that you don't have to make really long borders. You can make, if I just wanted three hearts, I could just meld three hearts together and that would be enough. So it's a really great way of creating really customized borders for yourself. Okay, I'll try some of these ones down here that are facing the other way. You probably think, well, how do I turn that into a border? Well, you can actually rotate these. So if I click and hold that and drag it round, you notice how it rotates. Now just a tip with this rotating, you'll notice when I just click and drag it round, it'll drop wherever I want to leave it, which is great. But when I want to bring it round so that it is even, so that it runs horizontal here perfectly, sometimes it can be a little bit fiddly and you may not get it quite right. The way to get it right, I'll bring it back to where it was, is to hold the shift key while you're rotating. So if I hold the shift key down and rotate now, you watch what it does. Let's see if I can get it to go. Sometimes it's a bit finicky. 
And you can see how it snaps. It's snapping into place. So it's snapping at the right sort of um, line here, which is perfect. So I know that's straight. Okay, so let's duplicate this now. Oops. Duplicate. And this one I'm going to put about here. I want this one as close as possible. All right, press the shift key and weld. Perfect. All right, I'm going to do again. Duplicate, drag it over as close as possible. And sometimes you might get this problem, and I'll just show you where they're not quite aligned. See there? That's you just need to spend some time making sure they're aligned. So what you can do is come up to the undo button here, undo it, and just try again till you get it quite right. Even that I'm not sure is quite right there. Yeah, a little bit out there too, see? So I'd undo that and try again. But once I had the shape in place, I'm going to bring it down to fit the screen. And there we go. So you can see how easy that is to create extra borders uh, for your brother's scan and cut. All you need to do now is just download them. You download these one at a time. You wouldn't download them all in one go. So I delete all of those and download one at a time. Give it a project title first. Then click the download button and you'll be able to um, download this to your machine to your computer and then use a USB to transfer this over onto your brother scanner cut. So I hope that was helpful. I hope you can give it a thumbs up if it was helpful to you. And thank you for watching.